There is one inevitability in life. As time passes, we age. It might creep up on you, but you only have to look back to spot the changes. Do you know that song? You've sung it before. Sing it with us this time, and do the actions as though you're swimming, like Humpty. You know, I'd like to think that I've aged or grown old gracefully, but there's no question about it. I have grown old. I've got the evidence to prove it. It's hard to believe, but it's 45 years since I first started presenting on television. Since then, my hair has gone grey, and my forehead so wrinkled, I can screw my hat on. What I want to know is, does it have to happen? Or could I stop? Or even slow down the ravages of time? It's a question that has long fascinated amateurs and alchemists alike. And for the last 45 years, Horizon and the BBC have followed as ageing has become the increasing focus of serious scientific study. From the earliest days of grappling for answers... I think we're miles and miles away from solving the problem of, of ageing. We're just right at the very beginning. ...to extravagant promises of longer life. I would think by the end of the century that we will be living to 150 to 200 years. We've witnessed macabre treatments. What in fact you're doing is injecting uh, a beef broth. Met those who claimed to have found the ultimate solution. This was the first discovery that we could actually find a way to slow down the aging process with a single pill. And glimpsed a brave new future. Does it spontaneously start to be to do? Yes, yes, absolutely. Wow, that is remarkable. While some scientists have been driven by the desire to alleviate suffering. Having lost my dad to disease, I just want to change the world. Others have been spurred on by an all too human desire. Sandy and I have been working on life extension to make the world safe for Dirk and Sandy, a couple of gourmets who want to live a long time and stay young. This is a story we all have a vested interest in. But after 45 years, how much has science discovered about why we age? And are we any closer to achieving the dream of immortality?